Hi, everybody. I wish I could be with all of you tonight to celebrate this year's inductees into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Kenneth Babyface Edmonds, Barry Gordy, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Robert Lamb and James Pankow, Max Martin, and a friend of mine and first ballot Hall of Famer, Jay-Z. I like to think Mr. Carter and I understand each other. Nobody who met us as younger men would have expected us to be where we are today. We know what it's like not to have a father around. We know what it's like not to come from much and to know people who didn't get the same breaks that we did. And so we try to prop open those doors of opportunity so that it's a little easier for those who come up behind us to succeed as well. Jay and I are also fools for our daughters, although he's going to have me beat once those two twins show up. And let's face it, we both have wives who are significantly more popular than we are. Like all of you, I am a fan, and I've been listening to Jay since I was a young and hungry state senator. I sampled his lyrics to close my speech at Selma. I tweeted a reference to my first song as I was putting the finishing touches on my final State of the Union address. Uh, I had to brush some dirt off my shoulders uh, during a campaign. So I'm pretty sure I'm still the only president to listen to Jay-Z's music in the Oval Office. Uh, that may change at some point, but I'm pretty sure that's true now. In fact, uh, Jay, you have been inspiring in making me want to be active in my retirement, just like you have been in yours. So I'm going to close by sharing something Jay once said that struck me. He said, I've never looked at myself and said that I need to be a certain way to be around a certain sort of people. I've always wanted to stay true to myself, and I've managed to do that. People have to accept that. And so with that, I'm proud to help present this award to a true American original, the first hip-hop artist to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, Mr. Sean Carter.